Yeah, welcome everybody to our session of the Pacific Crossroads Seminar today. So our first speaker is Hideki Miyahi. I hope I'm not slaughtering your name, Hideki. And he will tell us about uh, towards the function theory and tabular spaces. So please. Thank you. Uh, uh, first of all, I first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to talk uh, in here i mean online so uh uh let me start with this uh, let me start with the talk with this title uh the I, so first i will give you some you know the motivation and the kind of story of this talk so uh so the i will give you the definitions of the time spaces or kind of the uh, words here but uh the motiv motivation is something like this so uh let me start with time space tg of cross surface of genus G, uh, mainly we I consider that genus is greater than or equal to two. So uh, this is a complex manifold with uh, of dimension three G minus three. So uh, it is known that the Tachymia space is realized as a bounded domain. Uh, the 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 image is the called the bare slice. Uh, this is a picture lit, uh, drawn by Professor Yasushi Yamashita, uh, Chiyo University. So this is the kind of one dimensional Tachimia space. So uh, so here, uh, this is the uh, Tachimia space, uh, the best image of the best embedding uh, of, uh, with the best surface is square torus. So this is kind of the uh, hexagonal torus. So uh, kind of shape is different, but the kind of similar things here you can see. So. Uh, so it's okay. It is the, there is a kind of conjectures that the death boundary is kind of fractal and self similar at the fixed point with respect to the, this, the action of the shield dance of mapping class. So the so this is kind of uh, uh, a conjecture of the shape and the shape is looks like similar and uh, uh, independent and the kind of the I mean. So what I want to say that the shape, local shape is kind of independent of the choice of the base point. I This is, I might say, suspect, I suspect, I suspect that. So uh, it could be common phenomena for uniformization by Kleinian groups. So uh, so I I thought that, so, so then this is, in, when this is independent, so, so this is come from kind of uh, the intrinsic. Uh, this is the shape is comes from the intrinsic reasons. I mean, it may me may come from the intrinsic complex analysis viewpoint. So then, so so from from this uh, background, so I would like to study the complex analysis on the time space. But uh, so this is a Kranian group shapes. A Kranian group. Uh, this is a new uniformization by Kranian groups. So then that we I, we use the Sasson series for Kranian groups. So so then I would like to develop the complex analysis with Sasson theory. So so the, today's talk. So 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 for developing the complex uh, analysis on the Tachymia space. So I would like to give you some kind of basic theorems for uh, bounded uh, for purely harmonic functions and homomorphic functions of the Tachymere space. Uh, this is the this is the versions for Fatu type and the F and Emery theorem. So what I, what, this means that the Fatu type theorem tells us that the existence of the radial limit or kind of non tangential limits for the bounded uh, period harmonic functions on the time space. The 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 version of the F and M Ries theorem tells us that the this is the identity theorem uh, with the boundary values. So uh, so I will give you later these kind these theorems. The applying these theorems, I will also give you that the uh, uh, application for uh, to the to the low dimensional topology. I mean, I will, I, I will, I will show that the the action of the Torelli group on the space of projective major variation is not ergodic. 
So, uh, so then the, so the expected, uh, so what is expected? What, what, uh, so what I mean is that, so the, what is the, what is the next of this uh, research? So the the next, uh, so I think I, I think we should uh, we should study kind of the space of the bounded measurable functions on the uh, pro the space of project measure variations, uh, which is, is the boundary barrier of the holomorphic functions. So then this is kind of the intrinsic uh, uh, invariant for the holomorphic category in the Tychina theory. And uh, so then I think this, so for the studying this kind of space, we can see that kind of the intrinsic reasons for the shape of the boundary. I mean, this is kind of looks similar things, for instance. So then, but 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 then I will give you this kind, this, these two theorems and then I will, uh, and the applications. So before that, uh, I will. What are, so what? So to stating these two theorems, we need some kind of measure on the boundary. For instance, the, the, the this is the the radial limit. Our I will give you the radial limit theorem. But the, the kind of limit boundary value, uh, boundary value exists almost everywhere on the boundary. But uh, what what I mean almost everywhere. So so then the, this so this means that we need the kind of the measures on the boundary. So so then so I will give you first the what is measure. So in this uh, talk, and then I will give you the theorems. So so for that, so we start. I start with the 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 simple case, the Tychian space of tori. After that, I will give you the kind of generous theorems and uh, and uh, study the uh, this, uh, give you the theorems, the uh, proof of the theorems. Okay. So, okay. Let me start with the simple case, the Tychian space of tori. So, so the Tychian space of tori, tori is this one. So, uh, so Tychian space is the so I think I think everyone knows that the Tychian space is the modular space of marked Riemann surfaces. And uh, what what I mean marked mean that uh, fixing the generator of the fundamental group, and uh, the Tychian space T one of the tori is identified with the upper half frame by using the the period or kind of the generator of the lattice. So uh, so. So then this is one and this is tau. So this tau is a parameter parameter of the, the Magdo, Magdo tori x tau. So then on the Tychmere distance, I will give you the definition later that uh, now this, this is the hyperbolic distance on the upper half plane of curvature minus four. So the, the rigorously the written, uh, this, uh, the distance is written like this. Okay, so uh, okay the so for 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 give you uh for for explain the measure so so what I what what my measure my measure is a harmonic measure or purely harmonic measure so uh so then the, I will start with the Poisson integral formula so in this case though I so in this case. Now it's the time space is the one dimensional, I mean upper house space, upper plane. So uh, I will I will recall I would like to recall the Poisson integral formula of the upper half plane. So what is Poisson integral formula? So everyone knows that, but I would like to say. So uh, for a harmonic function on U, uh, or function on U, which is continue on on the upper half plane. Which is continuous on the closure. Uh, this R hat means that the kind of the boundary of the upper plane in the Riemann sphere. So, uh, so then that this is uh, the the that this is a part of integral formula. So, so this is usually written like this, but the I drive this like 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 
I'd like to, I mean, rewrite this kind of things. So, uh, so where, so, so I would have to explain this blue part later, but uh, this red, uh, this red one is the normalized spherical measure on the boundary of the upper half plane. So, and uh, it is known that from the complex analytic viewpoint, the normalized spherical measure sigma is the harmonic measure with pole tau equal i. I, I mean that uh, this is uh, the unit of the complex number. So, so then I'd like to formulate this formula in Teichmia theoretic viewpoint. So then, so the question is, we have uh, two questions. What is the blue part here in the Teichmia theory? What is the red measure in the Teichmia theory? So, uh, so for explaining, so for, for explaining this, so we need a kind of topological invariant, a kind of simple closed class or something like that, and a conformal invariant and a compactification describing the ideal boundary. So I would like to uh, okay, explain this, this, this three. Okay, so. So what is topological and conformal invariant? Okay, let me let me write the sigma one to be the xi. I is a unit of the complex number. So this is the kind of square torus and the ma marked square torus. And the, the set the set S sigma one of homotopy class of non-trivial simple cross curves on the topological surface sigma one is bijectively equivalent to the uh, Q hat, where Q means a rational number, and infinity means a, a kind of, uh, this is an infinity. And uh, so so the parameterize, parameterization is like this. So for thinking P over Q, uh, I, I, I like, the, I deal by this minus P over Q, corresponding to the P over Q. Uh, so the one zero or minus zero, minus one zero corresponding to infinity. So the, this is a kind of slope. And the, the geometric intersection number is for simple closed curves is uh, calculated. This is a calculation is uh, given by this formula. So uh, this is a basic topological invariant. Now, so so x tau is the marked tori uh, with period tau. Uh, this is the natural marking, as I said, one tau uh, of lattice gamma tau. The p over q curve of x tau is a homotopy class minus tau plus q tau, uh, minus p plus q tau. So then the, so consider the XML length of the simple cross curve uh, is defined like this, where the row is the, the mid, uh, kind of uh, length element, uh, row, row DZ, and the a, a, a row is the area of, uh, with respect to the row. And the, and the row, row runs all conformal metric on X tau. So then this is the XML length. And, uh, and so this means that uh, this means alpha, alpha prime is in the homotopy class of alpha. So, so then this is the XML length. So uh, the, by calculation, we can see that the, when alpha is P over Q curve, so X, XML length of alpha on X tau is like this. So notice that the by parameterization by our convention, when tau is ten to p over q, uh, in uh, this is the this is the boundary point of the of the upper half plane, which is identified with the Torah uh, time space of the Torah. So when tau tend to p over q, then x length of p over q curve on x tau tend to zero. 
a kind of pinching appears here. So now, okay, so let me, comp let, me let, let me give you the completion of the simple closed curve by intersection number, uh, which the, spa the completion is called the space of measured variations. So uh, the, the, measure for, the space of measured variation I denote by MF is, uh, this is a parameter, parameter space, but uh, so defined like this, which is homomorphic to the two-dimensional plane. And the P over Q curve identified with the minus PQ. This is the equivalence class. And the, the, the geometric intersection numbers uh, extend to MF by this. So, okay, so the, okay, the define the 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 projection, uh, the non-neural measured projection to the boundary of the upper plane by this. So then, but the, the boundary of upper plane stands for the projective space, one-dimensional projective, real projective space, something like this. So and uh, so we extend the extremal length for the measured projection by this formula. Uh, this is a kind of continuous extension. So notice that the, if you multiply t, non-negative non number t, for p over q car, so then the extremal length is multiplied by t square. So, uh, so this is a kind of the, the extremal length is a kind of the area things. But, uh, but, uh, but uh, so this is a kind of the, so this is a kind of the property of XML links. So, uh, okay, let me see. Okay, so we said the XML links of X, where X is a point of the boundary, so we are denoted by this. Ah, okay, this is a definition. So, uh, okay, so, so so next I would like to uh, give you the ideal boundary. So the so why I, I would like to say this is that the post integral is a presentation of the Hamlet function on the upper plane by their boundary value. So uh, we need a boundary. So uh, so what what can we describe the ideal boundary for the post integral formula in time theory? So the, this is this is a this is a natural question here. So. Uh, so as I said, so kind of the pinching things appears a conformal invariant to zero, ten to zero. So then the so then the, by using this correspondence, so we consider a kind of the identification of identification of the time point of the time space to the, the correction of the conformal invariants. So, uh, so this is an embedding. So we call this the uh, compactification is the guardian of the compactification. But uh, so, but anyway, so uh, so I would I would like to identify with the time space with the the correction of the conformal invariant, something like this. So, uh, so then, the so the so by by by. After the identification, so uh, the if the some curve pinching on the torus, so then the corresponding parameter can tend to the kind of the rational number corresponding to this curve. Okay, so so this so the I mean the what I want to say is that the boundary is a, the describes the degeneration of the macro Riemann surface are now in the macro tori. So, uh, so, so then now, so my, our, now considering this, the, the closure of the embedding consider this, we call the whole function compatification. Then now, so 
for, for a function co compartition is now uh, coincide, uh, the form function boundary coincide with the the boundary of H. Ah, okay, so before that, I, I'd like to notice that for function, for function compatibilization is naturally identified with the guardian with the compatibilization. But, uh, but uh, anyway, so this is a kind of the analysis, an, an analytical point of view, we consider for function compatibilization. But the geometric compatibility, geometric viewpoint, uh, we need, we we understand the ideal boundary as a guardian maze complication. But anyway, so so let me uh, explain the pro function compatibility now. So uh, so uh, pro function compatibility. So using this, the calculating the limit of the this function, so we get the ratio of the extremal lengths. And uh, so, so by, so, but uh, the limit is this one. So this is the, this is, this is, this is the blue part you see before. I mean, so the, these things, blue part of the, in the person integral formula we see before is the limit of the pro function. Uh, so, so then, the, so this is a kind of four function boundary. Uh, this is a kind of identification. But anyway, so this is this is the what I want to say that the this corner is the the geometric viewpoint. This is the ratio of the extremal lengths. But the, this is also obtained as the limit of the this function. So so four function is something like this. But anyway, so uh, as I said. The Poisson integral formula in the Taichmia space point of view. So, so this is the the Poisson kernel is the ratio of the external length, and this sigma is the normalized space formation. So this is the parameterization in Taichmia theory. I mean, this is the Poisson integral formula in the Taichmia theory. But uh, we need to we need, we need to interpret what is the normal spectral measure or how much measure in the Taichmia theory. So, so I would like to answer this. So consider the the measure on the spatial measure operation uh, defined by the Euclidean measure. I mean, because the, this action is invariant, uh, this measure is invariant uh, under the, this action. So then the, this measure is uh, this uh, descent to the measure on the space of major operation. So then the this also the uh, uh, this is this measure is also the invariant under the national action on the mapping class group or PSL to Z. We consider the this SI. Now this is the a uh, unit circle in the major space of the major operations uh, by using the the external links and consider a measure on SI by this. This is a kind of the angle measure of the uh, of this space. So then the Taichmia space viewpoint that the measure sigma, this is a harmonic measure, is understood as the push forward measure of this measure, this measure by this. This is a projection for the space of major operation to the boundary of the upper half plane. So this is the interpretation uh, of the harmonic measure on the upper half plane in Taichmia theory. So the next, I would like to give you uh, I'd like to extend this observation to general case. Okay, so let me start with the definitions. So uh, the let me denote by sigma g uh, an orient orientable cross surface of genus G. A marked Riemann surface is a pair x f where x is a closed Riemann surface of genus G, and f is the homeomorphism, uh, orientation preserving homeomorphism. And this is the Taichmia equivalence class. 
where the two guys are equivalent if there is a conformal map from x1 to x2, uh, such that the, the this diagram is commute in homotopy sense. So then the typing space is equivalent class as the set of equivalent classes of the Magdalena surfaces. Okay, so before as before, so so I would like to uh, consider the simple cross curves on sigma g, and uh, consider weighted simple cross curve because uh, I would like to consider kind of the cone on the uh, or kind of the space or kind of the space or complicate completion of the simple cross curves, and uh, we extend geometric intersection number on the weighted simple curve curve by this multiplication. The closure, so this is called the, the space of measured creation on sigma g is, I mean, the, this is defined by the closure of the embedding using the intersection number. And the, it, it is known that the intersection number extends to the product on the measured creations. And so we can define the extremal length in the same way as the case of genus genus one case. And we set the extremal length, uh, 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 let me see, okay, extremal length of weighted simple cross curve like this. So then, so then the curve of show, show that the extremal length extends continuously to the space of measured operations. Okay. As I said, uh, uh, I'd like to consider the various embedding. So I, I don't give you the de precise definition of the various embedding, but uh, I would like to explain what is various embedding. So the, the various embedding is the complex analytical uh, realization of the time space as a bounded domain in the complex Euclidean space or Banach space. Uh, the basic embedding defined by identifying the point X in the Teichmann space with the quasi fiction group uniformizing X and X naught. I mean, X naught we fix here. And the quasi fiction group is a Kleinian group whose limit set is a Jordan curve. The closure of the time space, or the image of Bayes embedding is called the Bayes compactification of the time space. And the boundary is called the Bayes boundary. Uh, the, this is Bonahon theorem that to any boundary point, the, we associate the hyper three manifold homeomorphic to the product sigma g times r. The negative end sigma g and this is should be minus. This uh, is a uh, negative end capped by a Riemann surface X naught, which is the base point appears here. And for generic phi the, to the positive end, we associate the support of the feeling major correlation. I would I would like to explain later. Uh, we call this support the ending lamination of the so the time measure distance, so uh, so this is a precise definition of the time measure distance. The natural complex this uh, natural hyperbolic distance in the Kaji conformal geometry. And the uh, and the uh, for x1 and uh, x2 in the time measure space, the time measure, time measure distance is defined by like this, where H runs all Kaji conformal map uh, from X1 to X2 homotopic to the these uh, compositions. The so uh, as before I said uh, the S to be the set of homotopic class of the non-trivial simple cross curves. The Kako formula tells us that the the time distance is natural distance in the geometry with respect to the extremal lengths. 
So, so here we, we you see the ratio of the the XML length. So as before, ratio of the XML length is kind of the Poisson integral, Poisson quantum. So then the I so this is this is give you a this gives a kind of the motivation for motivation to relate. Uh, of the motivation of the relation between the the Poisson integral formula and the quasi conformal geometry. So so before I I define the whole function, I give you the definition of the whole function compatification. So the this is the closure of the embedding of this, and uh, so this is a real and Su theorem. But uh, so in geometric viewpoint, the this compartition is the identified with the uh, gardner mesa compartition, and uh, the boundary of the whole function compartition naturally contains the project measure operation. I mean, so this is the kind of the degeneration degenerating locus of the Mark Riemann surfaces. So, so then the so the guardian and me, guardian measure uh, and, uh, by myself show that the uh, the the corresponding flow function is presented like presented by like this. So you can see the ratio of the x minus here. So. Uh, so then, so then the the same kind of things happen here. So uh, so so then you can you can have a whole person integral formula. So uh, the for purely harmonic function u on the time space which is continuous on the best closure, the person integral formula is like this. The where the this is a push forward measure. Oh, a push forward of the normal system measure on the the time uh, the bias boundary, and uh, so so this is, and uh, so this what is this? So this is the this is the purely harmonic measure in the sense of Dumarie in the complete analysis viewpoint. So uh, okay, so now so I, I'd like to explain what is this. So, so for that, so I'd like to define the fitting of kind of the words in the topological viewpoint. Uh, the major operation F is said to be fitting if uh, this intersect all simple cross curves and uniquely ergodic if intersectional F is uniquely ergodic if uh, intersection number zero implies G is multiplication of F. Multiplication Oh, yeah, let me see. Okay. Now, and uh, so TZ, so let, let me denote by boundary B, best boundary of uniquely ergodic TG is a set of best boundary point whose ending gramification are support of uniquely measured, uniquely ergodic measured this variation should be. And uh, unique. Okay, so, and uh, so for. For phi, for phi in the set, the let me denote by F phi is the me, major variation whose support is associated to the the ending gramination of F because of the uniquely ergodic the 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 major variation MF is it, uh, unique uniquely determined up to multiplication from the support. So then this F, F phi appears here. And uh, this is the uh, support of the integration of this formula. And what is the major operation? Uh, what is the system measure? The system measure is a unique mapping class group invariant measure on the space of major operation, whose, which, is support, uh, which is supported on the feeding major operations. Uh, this is a kind of characterization, but uh, this you can you can use that definition of the system measure here of this invariance, and uh, and uh, in the uh, uh, 
like a torus case, we define the unit circle the x uh, with respect to the x more length and define the first measure on the sphere by this. The, uh, the let me do by m mf s m f x naught is a subset of x naught consisting of filling measured operations. So then, so this is the theorem, I mean, this is the consequence of the any emission, the positive answer, I mean, positive affirmative solution of the any uh, emission conjecture. I mean, now we call the any lamination theorem that uh, the, there is a continuous map from this space to the measure of uh, the, the base boundary, uh, which associate the measure formation to a total degenerate group whose end lamination is support of F. This is a continuous mapping. So then we can define the push forward measure by using this C. And uh, so, so then, uh, so this is the full measure set in the sphere that this is proven by uh, Howard Mazur. And uh, so this is the push forward measure appears here. So now this is the same uh, a presentation like a torus case. Okay, so this is the idea of a proof, but uh, I would like to skip to the, the proof. But anyway, so let me uh, go into the, my main theorem here. So before that, so what is the Fatu theorem here? So Fatu theorem uh, here is that the, the let, let you be a bounded from a to a harm function on the unit disk, then F admit non-tangential limit for almost everywhere on that boundary. And uh, what is F and M Lee theorem here is that the non-tangential limit of the bounded from function F on D vanishes on the some non-measurable set on the boundary, I should, this should be the boundary. So then F is the, and F vanishes on the unit disk. So then the, we, we, we know the many theorems in the higher dimensional case, but the bounded is kind of necessary uh, when, uh, conditions for uh, for the FATU and M, F and M Lee theorems. So we have a kind of the uh, many functions, uh, something like this. Uh, Okay, so let me go into the my main theorem. But uh, because the time space is a kind of abstract space, so uh, so what I want to what I want to define uh, uh, here is that uh, what is the radial limit? So my radial limit means that the radial limit in terms of the time geometry. Uh, what I want to say. That uh, we call a function u on the time space has the larger limit if there is a measurable function u star on the base boundary. Uh, recall that the base boundary has natural measure, uh, which is a push, push for the measure of the first number measure, a kind of whole, a purely harmonic function, a purely harmonic measure. So then, the, so we consider a measurable a major space. Uh, we consider band, the band, band, we consider the base boundary as a major space with the purely harmonic measure. So then that there is a measurable function u star with respect to the purely harmonic measure and the full measure set E naught on the space of the project measure variations such that for any X, the the and the, the project class of F, uh, for any X and project class of X, uh, limit u along the tachymere array associated to the Hubbard measure differential. I would like to explain later, but uh, so this means that the uh, vertical formation of uh, tachymere array is by definition is defined from the quadratic differentials on x. And, uh, and uh, so the, the how the major differential is the vertical formation of the quadratic differential is f. So the limit Along the time array uh, uh, defined like this exists uh, for every uh, for f in 
E not, the limit coincide with U star at the limit point uh, of the Tajmi array in the bias boundary. So then the I so 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 then in, in the definition, so I'd like to uh emphasis to uh, I'd like to uh, notice that the the radial limit is assumed to assumed to be independent of the choice of the base point x or kind of this x. So then my radial limit theorem here is like this. Let u be a bounded purely harmonic function on the Tachymia space. Then you admit a radial limit u star almost everywhere with respect to the purely harmonic measure. But uh, I think uh, at first glance, I think you think this is trivial from the Fatu theorem. But, uh, but uh, we need a kind of formulation for this kind of the triviality. But, uh, but uh, so, so then the, so I would like to notice that from the, from the theorem, I would like, we, we can formulate the radial limit or limit function a boundary value of the purely harmonic, bounded purely harmonic measure, a purely harmonic function on the time space. Okay, but the, the natural question is that the for is any bounded harm, purely harmonic function on the time space presented by the person integral formula of the radial limit. But but uh, this is a kind of the question, but uh, this is in progress problem. But anyway, so let me continue the Discussion with of the radial limit theorem. The radial limit theorem is like, like this. So, uh, so this is the definition of the Hubbard Mesa theorem. And uh, and uh, uh, for any A, uh, so okay, so this is a Hubbard Mesa uh, different definition of the Hubbard Mesa theorem, and I would like to skip that. So. And uh, and uh, so okay. So uh, from the any from the ending Lamy's theorem for feeling measured correlation uh, a and uh, x in the time space, the time array uh, converges some point in the bias bound. And uh, when you restrict the to, uh, to consider at uh, least uh, you, you consider the, the set of the unique LB projective measure operation, then the the corresponding corres correspondence from this to the uh, boundary point is the homeomorphism. It is known that this is also the full measure set in the project uh, with respect to the SAST measure. The key things here is that uh, this set is a is a nice full measure set in the project measure operation has two phases, the direction of the Tachyma ray and the subset of the bias boundary. So now, so I'd like to uh, state the radial limit theorem. For a bounded purely harmonic function on the Tachyma space, there is a full measure set E not depending on only on u, such that the each element e, e naught is minimal, a uh, minimal means the uh, closure of a uh, leaf is dense, a uh, uh, feeling and uniquely ergodic. The radial limit exists for all x and, and f. The radial limit is independent of the choice of base point where for any f and x1 and x2, the limit the same has the same value. So then we can define the u star, which is independent of, uh, which is defined independent of the choice of the base point. So from the, in, from the independence, the, the, this, the u star is very uh, natural uh, on the uh, action uh, with respect to the action of the mapping class group. Uh, something like that. Okay, the the idea is idea the proof of the idea is as follows. So 
So for X not, uh, Tahima Ray emanating from X not contains a complex geodesic uh, called the Tahima disk passing X not. The direction of the Tahima Ray emanating X not is parameterized by the project measure correlation. And uh, uh, after identifying by using the uh, Howard Mesa theorem, uh, natural, uh, uh, this because the, this is a unit need unit sphere in the complex Banach space, so this has a natural S1 action. So then the natural S1 action gives a projection from the sphere to the projective space. And uh, this projective space parameterizes the Tahina disk pa passing X node. So uh, mu star is push bar the measure on the on the first measure by a projection uh, here. So then that we have a disintegration, something like this. So it is known that for, ev for every, for almost every T in the projective space, the lambda T is somewhat supported on the fiber like this. A V is a vertical correlation. And uh, so then, so this is a disintegration. So the next problem is that what is lambda T? So I claim that the lambda t is coincide with the Lubeck measure on S1 for uh, you, you need to you need you, you, with you need to mass uh, for every t. The proof is like this. So uh, the action preserves. So it is not the, uh, this is a Dumas theorem that the action preserve preserves first measure. So then by using this integration theorem, by using action. So we can see that the disintegration is presented to, uh, also presented like this. The, this is the equation. So then the because the disintegration is unique, a kind of so the, uh, has uniqueness. So that this lambda t equal to this one for every t. This means that so this lambda t is invariant under the action of the uh, rotation, uh, uh, rotation things. For instance, for especially the irrational rotations. So it is known that irrational rotation on S1 is uniquely erotic. So, so then, because uh, this is an invariant measure with, uh, with the uh, irrational rotations, so then it should be the Lubeck measure on S1. So this is a proof of the claim. Okay, so by, by applying a Fatou theorem for every time of this, so the integration, we get the radial level theorem. But this is a kind of the story, but uh, we need a kind of... But anyway, so this is a story. Okay, so the next is that the, the, the IDD theorem. Uh, but, uh, for, for, uh, for a bounded holomorphic function on the time space, if the radial limit F star, of S of F vanishes on the non-null measurable set on the best boundary in terms of the purely harmonic measure on the best boundary, then F is vanishes on the time space. So, so this is a the, this is the idea, but uh, this is this is this is uh, this is the, this proof is trivial from the uh, argument before given argument given before. I mean, the, with the disintegration, so then the uh, sum of the, so then the disintegration gives that the sum t on some t, so so intersection and the, the, this gives a, some t, this is not zero. This means that the, this, for, for consider this time here, this parameter uh, corresponding with the parameter t, so for, for applying this, uh, F and Emily theorem for this time here, this we get the uh, ID theorem here. But anyway, so so this is the the kind of the corollary from the argument given before. So uh, application. So application. Okay. So application is that uh, so the neon elicity of the Torelli group. What is Torelli group? So Torelli group is the a uh, subgroup of the mapping class group uh, which act trivially 
on the first homology group on sigma G. At, uh, so, so I would like to say, uh, can I have two, two, one or two minutes? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm sorry. So, uh, okay, let me finish. So, uh, uh, okay, so, so I would like to uh, notice that the action on the mapping class group is ergodic on the project image operation. But uh, so the theorem is that the action of this subgroup is not ergodic. But uh, so this is not small. Uh, it is not that this is something like this. But anyway, so I'd like to prove this theorem. Okay, the idea is that I use a, a period map. So, so period map is the a holomorphic map from the Taikimia space to the Jigger upper house space. So, uh, so then the, because G, so it is known that the Jigger upper house space is biholomorphic to the bounded domain. So, uh, so, uh, so this period map is a sort of is sort of a, the bounded holomorphic map. So then, uh, from the radial limit theorem, the this period map has the radial limit on the base boundary. So if the the action of the under the period map is invariant under the action of the trail group because the period period map is defined by the homology group. So uh, so then the action if this action were ergodic, the radial limit of the trail group, a radial trail group invariant form function, which is the period map, should be constant. So the from the identity theorem, this this bounded form function, which is period map, should be constant. But I, I, I think you know that the period map is not constant. So then this is contradiction. So then the, this proves that the that, that action of the trail group is not ergodic. The, the, the final slide is a kind of the dictionary. Uh, this is the upper frame things. And this is the space things. But anyway, so we use uh, this kind of uh, corresponding to study the complex analysis on the Tahima space. Anyway, uh, thanks for your attention. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, let's uh, thank the speaker. So let's start the discussion. Any comments or questions? Can I ask a question? Uh, I mean, you said that this dictionary can be extended. And for me, a very interesting entry in this dictionary would be to study holomorphic self maps of Teichmüller space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is, is there something like a Dongeois Wolf theorem, for example? Uh, what is theorem? Well, I mean, uh, you know, if you have a self map of the unit disk um, that is not an uh, uh, automorphism, then it has what is called a Dangereux Wolf point, and either an oh. attracting fixed point inside or a, a attracting fixed point on the boundary. Mm -hmm. And well, I mean, the yeah. question is is there something like this uh, also for Teichmüller space? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, but I, 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 I didn't. I didn't think this kind of theorem yet, but uh, well, I mean, yeah, this, this comes up in a very natural way, actually. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, related yeah. to some work by my student. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, I mean, it's it's, it's uh, we're actually wondering about this. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Other comments or questions? Uh, can I ask a question? Uh, yes, please. Uh, so you discussed about uh, the the existence of radial limit for almost all uh, yes. directions, but uh, what? about the exceptional directions. Uh, can you discuss the, the size? Like, uh, I don't know if there's a capacity in terms of a pretty potential theory or anything. Uh, smaller than measure zero? Yeah, this is this is measure zero. In terms yeah, of yeah, the but, uh, you, you may be, you may have a fine, uh, like a, you can talk about the capacity in an ordinary sense for a disk. Function uh, on the yeah, 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 
Thank you. Yeah, this is very uh, interesting program, but uh, I I didn't think yet. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, this is very natural question, and this is very interesting question. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Are there other comments or questions? Uh, hi, can I ask? Uh, this is Shinpei. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So hey, hello. You, the last time, just I want to know a little more, but just I don't know where, but then. So you prove that it's not uniquely egotic, I mean, it's a trade group action. So there's, you constructed different measures, essentially different measures on the PML, like preserved by trade group action or what? No, 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 no. No, no, just just I, I think just I think Saston measure. Uh-huh. I see. I mean I mean the mapping class group action is a Kaji invariant action in terms of Saston measure. So then we, we say kind of the unique ego this uh ergo action ergo this of the action. So uh, I mean I didn't I didn't think other measures. But uh, I mean I, I don't know the there is, but uh I think mm -hmm. I think here only あ、オッケー。なるほど。ペグ、あの、PML。あ、いつでのドメインディスコンティニューティーオールオンザアクション。ノ、ノ、アイ。アイ、アイディデント uh, can I ask one question? Yes, I guess. Yes, I, uh, so I have a question on the same slide here. Um, Which so the, is the period function harmonic? Oh, uh, yeah. This one? Or... No, the same slide, the proof of the non ergodic city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you use period map. So is it a purely harmonic function? No, period map is holomorphic function. Ah, it's holomorphic. A, a period map is holomorphic map. So uh, each, you know, each coordinate or is holomorphic function on the time. Oh yeah. Space. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, so then we so can apply the IDD theorem or kind of radial theorem for the period map. And is the action of trellis group minimal? What do you mean minimal? I mean, it has dense orbit. It could be, but uh, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, yeah, I think, I think this is known, but uh, I've, I, I'm sorry, I, 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 I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, it, it thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Are there comments or questions? Well, doesn't seem to be the case. So let's thank the speaker again. Thank you very much.